Hi, I'm Katherine Bogner, and I'd like to give you some practical ideas for how to use my book, Through the Year with Jesus, Gospel Readings and Reflections for Children. When we created this book, we desired to make a resource to help parents and teachers have great conversations about the life of Christ with their kids. And so we packed this full of tools for you. As you flip through, you might notice there's a lot to see and a lot to read and a lot to discuss. And it's not that all of those things have to be used at once. As a matter of fact, I think most homes and classrooms would pick and choose what fit the age of the kids they're working with, as well as the time that you have available. So I wanted to give you a couple of examples of how to put the book into practice, maybe depending on the age of your children or the amount of time you have available. So to start off with, um, I picked the story Walking on Water, which we put in ordinary time. I wanted to talk about how you could use this even with a young child or with only a few minutes to spare. So instead of reading the entire scripture passage, which might be a little bit overwhelming for a young child, you could instead summarize it yourself and tell them what happened, but then still read the memory verse so they're hearing those words directly from the Bible. Then you could turn to the beautiful piece of sacred art and have them look at the details, see if they can identify the characters and what's happening. And then maybe instead of reading the whole tell the story, you just choose one of the discussion questions and reword that in a way that works best for them and talk about that question while they're looking at the piece of sacred art. You could do all of that in just a few minutes and help them get to know the details of that story and something about Jesus through that time. Now, if you had an older child um, and had a little bit more time, some of the options would be to read the entire scripture story. You also could use the Lexa Divina prompts that are available to pray with that story as well. There is a section called Tell the Story, which kind of summarizes or gives some details um, to the scripture passage in a more kid-friendly way, so they could read that and talk about it. There's also three discussion questions, so you wouldn't have to use all of them. You could choose the one that maybe fits with that child best. And then there's a practical section called Live It Out that might give a um, application in daily life. It might tell a saint's story or give a suggestion of a virtue that we could grow in connected to this story from scripture. So all of those things combined could lead to some deeper conversations with older kids. Now, if you're looking for something with a little more structure, or you would like to use the book maybe as like morning time in a classroom or around bedtime or or the dinner table as a family, you also could break up all of the tools and use them a little bit throughout the week. So for example, on Monday, maybe you read the scripture passage and then read the tell the story section using some of the discussion questions to make sure the kids understand what's happening. Then on Tuesday, you could all look at the sacred art together and connect it back to the story, see if you recognize the details why the artist chose those different colors and movements. Then on Wednesday, you could go back and return to the Lexo Divina section, maybe reading the passage one more time and praying with it in a different way. On Thursday, you could use the practical live it out section and come up with maybe an application or a resolution to work together on as a family. And then on Friday, there's also a um, a passage at the beginning of the book that gives some suggested stories for praying the rosary. So maybe on Friday, you choose one of those or find a way to connect it to the story you had been working on and pray a decade of the rosary together as a family. So as you can see, there's lots of ways to apply the content in the book. It's meant to be a tool that you can pull from to help facilitate those conversations and something that you can return to year after year.